this episode has been a nightmare. No one's ever going to know why, because it's not going to be apparent in the final project. But anyways, we're really sorry we missed our deadline. We don't normally need to do two previews, but it's been a while. So here's another preview. This episode is stupid and big, and I really love what it's become. But here it is. We're, we've got two scenes left. And I'm hoping they don't end up being episode length like all the other scenes seem to keep being. Anyways, enjoy this minute of stuff. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm mad at me. All right, little runestone, seek out the greatest source of sass in the building. You know what I've always loved about us, Reen? I earnestly don't know what to say to you. I want to say something sarcastic, but I don't think you understand sarcasm. <laughs> I've always loved what good friends we are. What totally perfect good best friends we are. I lived for years afraid of accidentally ending up alone in a room with you. You're that guy. Oh, you. You know I like it when girls play hard to get, don't you? I want to kill myself. I'm about to vomit. If I throw up, you're not going to stop, are you? That's it, baby. Don't break character for me. <laughs> Calm your dick, McRoche. Read the damn room. If you kill him, you can do whatever you want to me. Surprisingly, not the first time I've ever heard that. Let's get you out of here and back to your harem. Is harem correct? I will accept harem. Oh, Lord, thou hast opened my eyes and delivered unto me my salvation. Was, Was that, that Kire? You know Kire! He's your master, isn't he? For what I have taken from the father, soon shall I take from the daughter. Did I actually guess right when you said they were the worst? That's disappointing. Excuse me, Reen. You should be happier to see your teacher. Um, Kire, I'd be happy to see you if you weren't such a hangnail. Um, Reen, perhaps we show gratitude to the man about to untie you. Um, Kire, I don't believe for a second you're about to try to save me. Um, Reen, if your father had this kind of awareness, perhaps he'd still be alive. Um, Kire? My father? When I was about to betray him, he trusted me entirely. In fact, he provided the dagger I used to stab him in the back. The Azoth dagger? The same one you gave me? You sick freak! What sweet words. Be they from the mouth of a Tosaka or an Amya, they still dance upon thy tongue so delightfully. But time is of the essence. Lancer, kill her. Hey, uh, priest, didn't you say I could? You could have the body. Hot dog! 